it's me, little Cammy. Are you ready for some stories today? My rubber chicken is ready for some stories today, aren't you? Yes, yes, I'm ready for stories. I thought so. And I have my friend, Abby Gabby, because she loves listening to stories. And I have my friend, Hugs and Kisses. Yeah, because he loves listening to stories too. Are you ready? Oh, good. Duck, Goose, Duck and Goose, I'm sorry, Duck and Goose is the title. Goose Needs a Hug. It is by Tad Hills, and it is published by Schwartz and Wade, which is a random house book. Goose Needs a Hug. I'm feeling sad. I think I need... Wait, we know what will cheer you up. Let's play hide and seek. No, thank you. I just need a game of tag. You're it. No, I really need to stand on your head. That's always fun. Boop. No, I really, really need to splash in puddles. No, I very badly need a happy song. No, I need what goose? Oops, excuse my thumb. A hug. Well, why didn't you say so? Silly goose. That's what she's all about. He's all about. I don't know what he is. He's just a, she's just as stuffy and her name is Hugs and Kisses because she's at X's and O's all over and I just always loved him. And so I always called him a him and I always called him a her and I don't think it really matters. He just likes to be hugged. All right. Ready? I got one more book. Are you ready? All right. Where's my sock? It is written by Joyce Dunbar, illustrated by Sonia Resick, Resick, and it was published by Scholastic. Where's my sock? Pippin was mad. Pippin was really mad. Pippin was as mad as can be. What's the matter, Pippin? asked Tog. I can't find my other sock, said Pippin. Which sock is that? asked Tog. My yellow sock with clocks, said Pippin, just like the one I am wearing. Don't you hate when you lose the match to your socks? I'll help you find your other sock, said Tog. Tog looked in the sock drawer. He found lots of socks, but he didn't find a yellow sock with clocks. How about a red sock with spots, he asked. No, said Pippin, I want my yellow sock with the clocks. No sock there. How about a blue sock with stripes, said Tog. No, said Pippin, I need my yellow sock with clocks. How about a green sock with stars? Said Tog. No, said Pippin, I must have my yellow sock with clocks. I don't want to wear odd socks. I want to wear matching socks. I'll just have to keep on looking until I find it. He's very upset. Pippin emptied the sock drawer, and the handkerchief drawer, and the sweater drawer, and the bits and bobs drawer. No yellow socks with clocks. Did you notice that they have little heads on them for knobs? That's really cute. 
he emptied the laundry basket and the ironing basket. There's the laundry basket and the ironing basket and the trash basket. No yellow sock with clocks. Where could it be? Sock, sock, where are you? wailed Pippin. It's only a sock, said Tog. It's no use crying over lost socks. I'm not crying, said Pippin. I'm cranky. Think of the poor lost socks, said Tog. How awful it must feel. That's a thought, said Pippin. It must be all alone, said Tog. It may never, ever be found, said Pippin. Oh, that's horrible. Think of all the lost socks in the world, said Tog. All the odd socks, socks that nobody wants to know. Socks with holes in their toes. All the lonesome socks, socks that have lost their stretch, socks that have shrunk in the wash, socks that were never, ever worn. That's a lot of sad socks, said Pippin, and I'm a very sad tog, said Tog. I've got an idea, said Tog. Let's go on a serious sock hunt. That will be fun, said Pippin. Let's see how many we can find. So they start up here and they go down. They hunted socks lost under cushions and socks behind chairs. Then they hunted socks stuffed into pockets and socks stuffed inside shoes. They hunted socks left in washing machines and socks that had blown away in the wind. They made a big pile. Then they tried to pair them. This is very difficult, said Pippin. We are making more of a muddle. Let's put them in a long line, said Tog. Then we can sort them out. So they put them in a long line. Then they followed the line, putting the socks in pairs. That's a lot of work. There are still a lot of odd socks left over, said Pippin, but no yellow socks with clocks. You know what, said Tog? I think your yellow sock with clocks is hiding from us on purpose. It will never, ever be found. Then I will wear odd socks after all, said Pippin. I'll wear one yellow sock with clocks and one plain pink sock. And Pippin did. I'll wear odd socks too, said Tog. I wonder which pair I've got on. Pippin helped Tog take off his shoes. Tog was wearing one purple sock with polka dots. and one yellow sock with clocks. That is the end. I hope you find your missing socks. I really can't stand when I don't have my socks. <laughs> Miss Abby Cadabby and I will see you again very soon. Come for a bedtime story next week. Bye.